Nisha, we're chance to win some awesome prizes. But say, Manish, more giveaways say to Vodafone Fiji. What is the content? Can we get a prize? Come on, say, Len, don't be shy. Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the CEO of Vodafone, uh, the permanent secretary, and all the other invited guests, including all the school students who are here with us today. Uh, as the CEO highlighted, what we are here to do today is to essentially launch the new uh, e-ticketing machines, the vending machines. Uh, you find these uh, machines very commonly all over in various countries in the world. If you go to Australia, New Zealand, where they sell bus tickets, where they sell train tickets, ferry tickets you can actually get these vending machines. You don't have to go and queue up somewhere. You can simply go to these machines, you have your cards, you top up your cards, you put the money in and your card gets topped up. Also these vending machines, we understand, will be able to uh, give back refunds if they want. So if you've got $2 left on your card and you want the money back, you can put your card in, it'll give back the $2 to you. Uh, so these machines are actually quite good. And uh, what we are trying to do, of course, is you know that we want everybody to have access to electronic transactions. We want to make life things easier for you. By having e-ticketing cards also, it helps government know which buses, which routes, which areas more people get on the buses. We know on a daily basis. There may be some buses, you have a lot of people on the buses, so we can talk to the bus companies to give more buses on that route. Or if there's less buses, the bus companies can come to us and say, look, we want to use smaller buses, or there's no point running these routes. It gives us a lot of information and helps us to plan. What we want to do, of course, is uh, uh, get Vodafone to have these vending machines throughout Fiji, not just at the bus stands, but places where a lot of people, for example, uh, walk a lot, commute a lot. So you could maybe have a vending machine on the other side of town, uh, where people who don't have to come to the vending machine here just to make things easier for them. I also want to uh, highlight, please, it's very important, we still find uh, some people who abuse the e-ticketing cards, in particular students. As you know, you have the blue cards and the yellow cards. Uh, some of the students actually abuse it. I've, I've heard some stories where they're actually going to sell their cards and get money for it. We've also heard that uh, there are some people who actually give it to their parents, and the parents are here, please, those cards, actually not for you, it's for your children who are students and that's who uh, should use those cards. Because if you abuse the cards, then all the taxpayers in, in Fiji are losing out money. It means if you, if you use money where you're not supposed to, that means we have less opportunity to build better roads, better schools, better hospitals. The reality is we have limited funds, but government has made a point of ensuring that the funds are given to the people who need it. Similarly, the students who are supposed to use these cards, in particular the subsidized cards, are meant for those students who come from families who earn less than $16,000 a year. But we see many parents are getting their students, and many teachers, in fact, some of them may be helping them to get cards when they actually don't deserve those cards. By you doing so, you're actually stealing from the system. You should not do that. If you uh, have reported your cards lost, please make sure you have genuinely lost your cards. The Ministry of Education is spending over $20 million a year, about $25 million a year, just to pay for subsidized travel for students. We want to do more, but we have to make sure the money goes to the right people, not for the people who don't deserve it. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to uh, thank Vodafone, I don't want to make a long speech, I'd like to thank Vodafone uh, for uh, coming up with this initiative. We've been talking to them as to how to make things convenient for members of the public. Our job as government is to make sure that we have more and more services available to you, make your life a lot more easier. I'd also like to thank the bus drivers who've been involved in the e-ticketing process. The bus drivers play a pivotal role. I know a lot of them perhaps went through some uh, difficult times, in particular with uh, dealing with new systems, some people being abusive of it, so I'd like to thank them, and also the bus companies. And we want to work together with all of you to ensure that this becomes very, very successful. So thank you very much for being here this morning and we wish you all the best tonight. Thanks.